impromptu is a shape, it's a form, which I think means a certain liberty. And it was the possibility to come away from the very strict and also um, regulated forms like a sonata form. We know the impromptu from composers like Schumann, Schubert and Chopin. Um, we don't very well know what happened to the impromptu later on in the 20th century. And we have some for the piano, but for the harp, it's the, the form, it's the form which we need to express ourselves. The impromptu is something spontaneous. It's something which is emerging out of the sound and developing and the theme very often comes later on. At the beginning, you have like an improvisation. It comes out of one note. We have to create the sound we have with our instrument, not with a bow and not with a breath, but we have to create it with the sound which is there, which we just produced. And with that, it's a glimpse even further back, 18th century, with Couperin, Rameau and uh, Scarlatti, where I just wanted to, to add something, like looking even further back uh, in time and saying, yeah, this is what, what also existed there, a lot of humor, um, a lot of ideas, you know, Rameau. Le rappel des oiseaux, la poule, the chicken. You know, it's 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 fantastic. This idea of putting the impromptus together in a production, in a recording, has been lingering in my mind for years. But I I always thought I, I have to see what else is there with impromptus. but it's a sound we have to transport to the future. And I think that's what it means, impromptu. Impromptu, which leaves you the freedom to think what you want. It's not a title, it's just an impression.